be making bases. Hey, what's going on? It's Ever J Music. In this lecture, we're going to be talking about some advanced level sampling techniques in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play what we already have been working on, and then I'm going to show you how we can take that to the next level if you want. Now, I haven't named these yet. We can always name them. Um, like, for instance, this is the new hat. hat. This is uh, it's a guitar. I can do Command A, and then I can push Shift Option N to name everything within here. So, anyway, let's say I wanted to take this guitar and I wanted to, you know, even freak it a little bit even more than this. You know, what you could do is after you have your melody within here, you could take this and drag it to the over here, this area right here, this gray area, and come over here to quick sampler and go to original. Then I would mute out this old guitar and now you have a brand new sample that you can start freaking and working with. So let me do something here. I'm gonna pull up musical typing by pushing command K and now, You can pretty much play around with that. So let me just do this. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna freak this and play around and make, make like a new version of this. Yeah, I like that. Let's, let's check that out. I'm gonna push R to record. All right, dope. Um, one thing you could also do instead of always going to the scissors, you could just double click on this and it's going to automatically pull. Hey, what's going on, man? If you would like to learn how to make beats in Logic Pro 10, then I want you to pay attention. All right. I go by Ever J Music. I'm a producer and my music has been licensed to Love and Hip Hop, Real Housewives, Black Ink Crew, Basketball Wise, Married to Medicine, and the list goes on. And in this course, I'm going to be showing you the ins and outs of how to make dope music in Logic Pro 10. This is going to be showing you the ins and outs of how to make your own drum patterns, your own melodies, how to arrange your beats into song format, as well as mix your music like a pro, all in Logic Pro 10. And best of all, there's several bonus videos that's going to show you how to make beats in different genres and for TV and film. So this sounds like something that you would like to learn how to do. Go ahead and click through and get enrolled now, and I'll see you on the other side. piano roll all right but anyway now we have our sample chopped up and played different or whatever so what you could do is you could click right in here and push command a and that will highlight everything and make sure it's quantized by pushing q up here and let's listen to it now So that's one way you can freak it. Also, you can go ahead and right click on one of the notes, make sure everything is highlighted, and then go down here to Force Legato, and then it will bring each note to the very end of that particular MIDI note. And so I kind of like how it's chopped up just a little bit. So I'll take this and I'll hold down option and, you know, move my mouse over or on the trackpad, you can go left to right to zoom in. And I'm just going to take that off like that. Maybe do this a little more. So cool. That's one thing you could do. But another thing you could do is come over here and go to your audio effects. So you have to make sure that this eye is selected, which is your inspector tool. And then on the track that you're, you know, trying to freak or make the sample, you know, unique, you come over here to audio effects and scroll down to you see multi effects and then go to remix effect, go to stereo. 
Now, what this is going to do is allow you to kind of become a DJ on this this track right here, which is super lit. And um, I'll show you what, what I mean. So I'm going to push play, and then I'm just going to show you these different functions, what they can do. So you kind of get the picture here. You can do certain effects to the to the audio here, and, or to the to the to this uh, sample here, and make it unique. And so, how you're going to actually be able to record what you do here is you're going to go over here to where it says read. This is basically your audio uh, automation mode. And click here, and I would recommend going to latch. And basically, what latch is going to do is anything that you do to this track. So you got to be kind of careful because even if you like take your pan and pan it left or right or move your uh, volume fader up or down or anything like that it's going to record it and it's going to be you know it's going to record that automation all right so you only want to affect what you do here all right so anything i do here is going to actually affect there so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of you know doctor up this thing.